Okay, so here's my part two to that first part one, giving myself a little bit more time to dive into this. One of my, if I were to be completely transparent, one of my pet peeves as we evolve and shift into new versions of ourselves, as we start to awaken and um, move into higher states of consciousness, um, being in new states of consciousness, is this idea that we are in control of changing our state. We're in control of moving out of uncomfortable or painful experiences and moving into more blissful states, that, that we're in charge of doing that. And the reason that this is actually not true is because most of us are still being driven by the ego, not the higher self. So if the higher self was actually an aspect of you that you were living in and with all the time, then you would be allowing whatever is arising in your present moment to just be. It is the ego that wants to change it. So we are designed to naturally shift, naturally evolve, naturally move into higher states of consciousness and not remain in those higher states at all times because this evolution is an up and down. You go up into them and then all of a sudden you fall down into these lower states. That's where the transformation happens in the lower states, in the bad day, in the uncomfortableness, in the pain. That is where your actual shifts and transformation occur. That's where the evolution occurs. Evolution and shifting and transformation doesn't occur when you are in the higher states. So by constantly trying to control your states, by moving into the high vibration, by telling yourself that you're having a good day all the time, I'm having a good day, 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 a good day you are negating the actual moments that are showing up in order for you to shift and transform them. And the way that you do that, the way that you allow yourself to naturally just evolve and shift is that you experience whatever it is that you're having without judgment. You watch your reaction. You watch your response. You watch how you are with people, right? You observe all of it. You watch and feel what it feels like as it's moving through you, whatever it is, whether it's an argument, whether it's the way you reacted and responded to somebody, whether it's be the beliefs that popped up, you just allow it to be. You are not in charge of how your evolution unravels. And by trying to pull yourself out because you're judging it, you're saying it's bad, it's not good, it's not a high vibe, I should always be in a high vibe. That is the biggest load of crap ever to believe that we are supposed to always be in these high vibes is such a disservice to ourselves because the actual transformation the actual evolution occurs in the moments where you are most raw most vulnerable most uncomfortable in the most pain in the most like i want out of this that is the gold and yet here we are trying to say, this is bad. We're judging it. And we try to pull ourselves out of it, right? So pay attention. We are, everything is energy. It's designed to just move. And it's the judgments that anchor it into your reality, make you believe that it's going to stay, make you believe that it's who you are so that you then want to force yourself to change it. That's ego. Your higher self wants you to surrender. Your higher self wants you to stop judging yourself. There is nothing wrong with what you're experiencing. Nothing wrong with what you're feeling. There is nothing wrong with any of it. Nothing. It's just you shifting out of old versions of you into new versions of you. Your higher self is doing it with you, not your ego. And the moment that you can surrender into and stop trying to move yourself into anything, stop trying to force yourself into anything, stop judging all of it, is the moment you start moving into a flow state with your own natural evolution and you start to watch the magic and miraculous experience of this. Listen, I, it's, not, it's not easy set, allowing yourself to really experience bad days or uncomfortable feelings or pain or whatever it is 
I, I'm going, I, I go through it too, right? I just went through something massive the last couple of days during my birthday. It was very uncomfortable, right? I wanted out of it. But I knew that there was nowhere for me to go and there was nothing for me to do but to surrender into it and allow whatever this was to just move. To just move. And it's not easy. We're not programmed to live this way. We're programmed to be in control. We're programmed to shift out of it. We're programmed to positive think our way out of it. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you want to have more ease and grace and flow and trust through this process of evolution, stop judging, stop trying to get out of anything that you're experiencing. Know that it moves, that nothing is permanent. Everything moves, everything. There is no such thing as a bad day. There is no such thing as a negative emotion. There's no such thing as um, something that isn't good for you or bad for you. It just all is experiences. It just feels different. It just feels different. You are going through a miraculous OMG evolution right now. And we are moving out of very low program states. And one of those program states is if you're having a bad day or if you're feeling low vibration, just convince yourself that you're not. Just tell yourself you're in a high vibration. Move yourself into a high vibration. Tell yourself you're having a good day. You're not in control of the quantum field. You're not in control of energy. Let your higher self wow you. Humble yourself enough to say, wait, what if I'm not in control? What if there is a higher version of me that's guiding me through this and that everything that shows up is an opportunity for me to evolve? An example, you're going through your day, you're getting in an argument with somebody, right? You're, or somebody yells at you and all of a sudden you're in a bad mood, you're having a bad day, all these things are happening to you. The transformation, the evolution, the miracle, and the magical moment is how are you being in that moment? That's it. How are you being? That's all. That's all you have to focus on is how am I being in this? And as the observer, you give yourself compassion for what you're experiencing. And then you let it go. You let it go. And you watch what happens in the next moment. And then you watch what happens in the next moment but you stop judging it. You stop critiquing yourself. You start to flow. This is evolution. It's all energy. It all moves. Nothing is stagnant. Nothing is anchored into your reality unless you judge it and you restrict it. I love you.